everyone. Welcome back to the Budgeting Sisters. I'm Melissa, and today we're here with April, who's got a bit of a dilemma that we're going to talk through and see if you have some advice for her. So what is your problem, April? What's going on? My problem is, is I have three savings challenges that I consider to be um, long term. Okay. And I only do the mini, so I honestly don't really know. My first one was the twenty four and twenty four. So, yeah. So I've got the monthly savings one, the which equals seven hundred and fifty, and then I've got the penny savings one, which is six hundred and sixty seven. And then I've got the 24 and 24, which is 576. That's a lot and of money. It is a lot of money. And I feel like I have too many higher dollar savings challenges tying up money for way too long. Like, what do you mean whole, too long? Too long of a time frame. It's going to take me all year to do these three. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And the whole purpose of me doing savings challenges, yeah, it's to fund Christmas, but that's just one of the things. The main purpose on a monthly basis is to complete savings challenges so I can make debt payments. Okay. And I struggle with having such a big savings challenge. That's a lot of money tied up. Exactly. Why I'm accumulating all this interest on credit cards. Yeah, that's not good. But if I don't finish them, then I feel like I failed. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I don't I don't want to um, give up. Right. I don't want to give up. They're definitely attainable. I just am struggling with doing three at the same time. Now, my plan was to take all of my minis that I'm doing and roll them into my 24 and 24. Is that something you might be able to do? I could, but I like the snowball effect of finishing the savings challenge, depositing it, and making a payment. Right. So, what are you making um, that payment on? Credit cards that are charging me interest. Oh, okay. So, your small challenges are not going for the same thing as your big challenges? Correct. Okay. And I'm not even sure that my, my big challenges might be going towards the same thing as my smalls. I'm just, I haven't decided. Okay. I know I, I think in my last video said maybe um, monthly and penny, they almost equal, well, they equal more than half of what I plan for Christmas. But, um, you know, I, I plan on doing a Christmas binder again this year. So I don't, right now, I think until July, my focus is, getting as much money paid towards debt as possible. Now, how did your Christmas binder work out last year? Did you have enough? Did you have too much? Was it just um I had enough. Um and I'm probably working with the same keep going with the same budget this year. But you didn't have any of these bigger challenges last year, did you? No, I didn't. So you were still able to save an adequate amount even without having the bigger challenge. Yes, because I get like an extra paycheck in last year, it was November. So this okay. year it's probably October or November. Um, and so I use a lot, I, I 
uh, what do I want to say? I supplement what I haven't saved with my extra paycheck that comes the second half of the year. Right. So does your big challenges have to go for Christmas or do no. be going for something else that would no. free up money that could go for your Christmas challenges? Right now, they should go towards debt. Right. Because eventually that would lead into more monthly. Right. Month, right? Right. Right now, every, like, I like so much going, I like the amount getting paid immediately when I finish the savings challenge mm -hmm. and not waiting for, like, a monthly recap or anything like that because I immediately make the payment my interest goes down for the month. My payment might change for the month. So it frees up a little couple extra dollars to snowball into um, the next debt. Yeah. Now, I know I can't remember her name. There's another girl in our little village here of people that at the end of each month, she she takes all the money from all of her challenges and puts them on the debt. But she doesn't stop the challenges. She just keeps going with them. But she applies that money onto the debt. I, I think it's figuring out retirement. Yeah, I don't remember who it is, but I remember you telling me about that Yeah, I can't person. remember. But... Is that something that's an option? So you're not feeling like you're giving up on yourself or that challenge? And so I don't you didn't know. Finish. I don't know because I'm really motivated by seeing all the money in the envelopes. Oh, see, that don't motivate me at all. I'm just like, oh, I have money. Let's spend it. No, I literally <laughs> at least once a week sit here. <laughs> this is horrible. I, I don't worship money. That is not what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'll sit here and I'll count and I'll strategically think, okay, if I do this and I do that, then I can do this and I can pay it on that. And I'm always rethinking what's, that. yeah, rethinking what's going on, rethinking about what ones I can get done this month, what ones are going to fall next month. What's yeah. the ratio of minis versus 25 versus 50 and a hundred dollar savings challenges. And so that was in doing that this past weekend, that was when I was like, why do I have these three when at one point, at some point in all of this, I could have over a thousand dollars tied up in these three challenges put together and none of them finished. Now, how many, how many of your debts would that pay off? Like how, how much further would you be if you took that money out and put it on a debt? Um, or would it not really make that big of an impact? No, it, it definitely would. Like, I mean, money, a thousand is a thousand. I mean, it's going to exactly. make exactly no. I mean, that would eliminate like three debts if if these were you know really tying up money. You know, five four months from now, you know, these would have a lot more money in there, and it could definitely pay off a debt. Right. Um, like I've got a phone debt that's like $130. I've got a credit. My smallest credit card is, I think, under $300. So yeah. I don't know. I My thought was maybe I should pull the money from monthly savings tracker and the penny savings challenge and put it all towards 24 and 24. Because I feel like 24 and 24 should be done in 24. Um, yeah. Where the monthly and the penny challenge can be done at any time. 
Right. See, this is what I do when I figure. I'm like, oh, I need ten more dollars for this one, and yeah. I need now tw twenty one for that, and then they're done. You know, so. Now, if you did that, how close to your 24 and 24 are you to being done? Because if it's not going to be close to being done, then what's the point of doing it? Then you're just shuffling money around. Um, let me do a little math here. Yeah, get comfortable, Lilo. Does, she was... does that make sense, though? I mean, we don't want to do this just to shuffle money from one thing to another. Right. I mean, if it's going um, to make an impact, that's, that's different. Right. It's hard because I have to add up all these little circles because it's a lot of it is in change. Oh, yeah. So it would add almost $300. So... Like 288 plus. If you just divide that by 24, how many more 24s is that? 12. Three, wow. Six, 12. So I'd only have six left. Yeah. So at the most, it would take me 12 weeks. But technically, if I'm not allotting five to 10 here and five to 10 here, maybe a couple times I can do a 24 in a week. So let me ask you this. If you did that, if you moved that money over to the 24 and 24, could you finish it this quarter so that then your money is going towards a debt payment to further your goal for this quarter? Um yeah it could definitely um because that would all be additional money that you hadn't planned on putting right towards that, a that debt five hundred five hundred and seventy six dollars this quarter that i could put straight towards a debt if i did that that you had not planned on putting towards the debt. right because i expected all three of these to be going until december right so then on See, to me that just makes logical sense like right that does make sense if that's what the plan is if you were just shuffling money around and move and ending it to just have it sit there you know then that's a whole different scenario right but no it would it would basically complete the opposite side right right so you would only have those yeah. six left. I could do I could do this whole side and then all that's left is the bottom half of the front. So you could easily finish that in this 12 weeks. This this quarter. If I if I made it a priority, yes. Because usually I do twelve dollars a week. So at twelve dollars a week. Right, um, but money are you also putting on those other challenges. Um, anywhere from five to 10 a week. So, so that could make your 24. Right. Right. It definitely could. And, oh, and <laughs> I didn't even tell you about this. One of the bills that I paid off when I got my bonus. Wait, I, why are you coloring all those? Because I'm moving. Oh, so you are definitely going to do that. You're definitely going to be moving them over. So you're coloring them in. Yeah, I guess I made a decision. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Why is she coloring? <laughs> because I want to get it finished. And then, you know, if I want to start the penny challenge or one of the others next quarter when this one's done, then I can. Then you can. Yeah. Yep. And technically, I should be able to allot anywhere from $15 to $24 a, a stuffing to it because I was already doing 12 you know? So what was that other bill that you had paid with your... Oh, so I had a bill that I paid off with my bonus. And I knew, or I should say I had a feeling I was overpaying it. 
but every time I called them, it wasn't a credit card company or anything like that. It had to do with um, the house in Maine and it didn't, the closing wasn't right. So I still owed oh, some yeah, money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, every time I called HUD, it just said, um, all available customer service reps are busy. Please call back at a later time. Click. Okay. And I... I literally tried the whole month of February to get an accurate total so I could pay the correct amount in March when I got my bonus. Right. I never got a hold of them. So the only option I had was to, because it had to be paid. Um, but you already knew. Right, right. So I just paid the amount on the latest bill that I got. And it ended up that um, it was overpaid by like 300 and either $83 or $338. Oh so, so they send it back? Um, I filled out the paperwork for them to um, wire the money back into my account yesterday. So that's um, awesome yeah so when that comes in that could potentially finish 24 and 24. right now if i wasn't combining any of these three challenges that money wouldn't finish any of them right so okay so you pulled all your money yes now but figure out how many sets of 24 you can color on that does that leave you with anything that you could roll into your mini challenges? That way it's still going towards debt? No, it worked out. It worked it out was, evenly? Well, this was 24 cents short. Ah. And wow. I know I've thrown extra change in the bank. So I was gonna say I can flip you a quarter if you want. Yeah, to exactly. <laughs> I mean, I get change right here too. Oh, look at this though! I was so excited. A little off subject, but when I went to go get my a recall done on my car, um, what is that? They're dollar coins. They're one dollar coins. That's oh, what that's the vending awesome. machine gave me back, and I'm like. I want to go back there and just buy something in the vending machine so I can get the $1 <laughs> coins back. Now, let's not do that because I'm sure it's cost you more than something in the vending machine. I machines. know, but they're so cool. I got seven of them because I had to break. I wanted, I needed a drink and I needed something to eat because I was getting lightheaded. I went there just for an oil change and they were like, oh, you have a recall on your car. And oh, of course, oh your God. car has that issue so we have to glue the the top of your car back on <laughs> so it doesn't come flying off well so, yeah, that'd be good yeah be so i had to get something to eat and drink and so i was like when i got the coins when i got the first drink when i got the drink i was like "Ooh, coins i'm gonna break another five and get some more coins because <laughs> i always try to get change anyways for the bank yeah, me too so I was all excited when I saw those coins. That's awesome. That's really neat. So it does pretty much even out. And so now how many does that leave you with after you color? It leaves me with just the bottom six. The bottom six. Yeah. I think that really is your best option if that's what it's going towards anyways is the debt. Then yeah. To me, that, that's a smart move because it's just added payment on your debt that you weren't planning on in this quarter. Right, right. But now you're just going to push to get that done within this quarter. Right. You and know? I'm going to put this in the front and, and maybe, you know, this one and um, this one I'm hoping to finish this month and this one this month and maybe you know if they get replaced they get replaced with a a low dollar one so that yeah just I more minis sink, yeah i can sink as much into this as possible excuse me and then um that money can get paid on a debt quicker yeah see my i'm different because 
my 24 and 24 is to build up my emergency fund. Right. So it doesn't matter to me. My debt payments are in my monthly budget because I don't have month. I mean, what I'm paying on is just set on a monthly thing. It's right. not accruing interest, nothing like that. Right. So it doesn't benefit me if I pay it off early. Right. Other than and to get rid of the debt. Right. And now, that's, that's kind I don't of have why. an emergency fund. Right. So my minis are going towards my 24 and 24 to then move on to my emergency fund. Did you see what my minis are going towards? So my three food ones are going to go towards my pantry sinking fund. Because I, I don't have a pantry sinking fund. Yeah. Pantry sinking fund. <laughs> um, so I'm using my food ones, the candy, the pizza, and the taco Tuesday for pantry sinking fund. That's a and, great idea. Yeah. And the flowers and the weather ones are going towards debt. Uh -huh. And then the pet ones are going towards my pet sinking fund. That is a great idea. I love that. Yeah. I so two that. of them are going towards sinking funds and two of them are going towards debt. That's great. Yeah. Well, everybody, do you think April made the right decision? What would you have done if this was your decision? If you had yeah. to, to make this move, would you have kept going? Would you have moved the money? What would you have done? Let us know down below in the comments. Yeah, um, or let us know if we totally forgot about something that was an option that we didn't consider. That we didn't that we didn't think of. I'm sure we didn't think of everything, but yeah. But we will see you all tomorrow for Frugal Friday, and we will talk about our pantry stock up challenge and how we did this week. Bye. Perfect. Everyone. Bye.